So they convinced Carrie's parents and Carrie, my wife, to bring me back. How did you the, feel about to the back? How did you feel? Well, I was terrified. I was terrified. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen, right? So they bring me back and uh, when we get there to the complex, the big blue complex, uh, there are some people waiting there for us. And they say, oh, we're going to take you to a, a place where uh, you'll like it. It's out in the country, out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, you'll be able to get some good food and rest and exercise. And, get you back in good shape again. So they talked me into that. And then they had a van, which they put me in. Um, it was two people. Uh, one of them was named Ben Stringer. Uh, he was a staff member at uh, mm -hmm. AOLA, Advanced Organization of Los Angeles, which is part of the Big Blue Complex of building. And another person named Kevin Popovich, who was uh, a security guard on the ship. Mm. He was one of the security guards that trained all the other security guards in martial arts. Anyways, both of those guys, Ben Stringer and Kevin Popovich, were experts in martial arts. They took me to a place in New Mexico, which was owned by a, a public Scientologist. It was a little ranch in a place called Reserve, New Mexico. They take me out to this ranch, and there's a main house, and uh, then a cabin, uh, which is, uh, there's a big field, and the cabin is about a five minute walk away from the main house. These two gentlemen, uh, Kevin Popovich and Ben Stringer, take me to the cabin. And uh, the cabin is just a, un, you know, kind of bare cabin. I think there was a couch in there, I don't think there was any, there was no electricity out there, uh, you know, uh, there was an outhouse, there was, mm -hmm. no, there was no restroom in the cabin, it was an outhouse outside of it. Um, anyways, I quickly found out that uh, anything that I wanted to do that uh, Kevin and Ben didn't approve with would be met with physical force, like if I wanted to go outside or do something that that uh, they didn't approve of, uh, I was subjected to, uh, you know, painful submission holds or kicks, punches. Uh, wow, they were beating you into submission. Beating yeah, you. it was uh, immediately, I mean, as soon as we got there, and I wanted to do something like leave the room that they wanted me to be in, you know, I was immediately like slammed to the ground, face first, up against the wall with both my arms twisted behind my back and my wrists bent. I can tell you, I was uh, a shadow of my former self. I and they was, were body slamming I was in no back. shape to, to resist. I just kept insisting that I wanted to see Carrie over and over again. And uh, finally, they got Carrie somehow and she came out there. They weren't allowing me to see her or interact with her at all. They were keeping her away. She was just there at the main house making food for people and but stuff. But you weren't like allowed that. to see your wife? No. So, um, finally they brought her out there and I took her into the other room. There were no doors on anything. And I just spoke to her very quietly and I said, Carrie, these guys are going to kill me. You have to understand the magnitude of this. They are going to kill me if you don't do anything. I didn't know exactly what they had done until after everything because, of course, they kept this away from each other. But it was like, okay, New Mexico, blah, that was gross. So, blah, uh, you know, Griffey Blythe had to help us get some people there that would actually help Scott. What Carrie did manage to do was when she spoke with Griffey Blythe, the case supervisor, she told her, listen Griffey, these guys are going to kill Scotty. 
whatever is going on here is not what's supposed to be happening, they're going to kill him. And she understood that. Griffey understood mm -hmm. that what Carrie was saying was the truth. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how she did it, but she got some other guys out there to replace These two. Ben Stringer and Kevin Popovich. Mm -hmm. And the guys that came out there to replace them were uh, two of my friends from the ship mm -hmm. and uh, another friend, which we might all know, uh, Roy Rodriguez, oh. who's a security guard mm. uh, at the mm -hmm. Big Blue Complex in L.A. Mm -hmm. And uh, those guys came out there and treated me very nicely. And, uh, you know, within a pretty short period of time, probably a couple months, uh, I felt better, mm. was back to normal, and uh, then was allowed to leave. Uh, we came back. Uh, I actually drove everybody back in, in my car. Yeah. I mean, even after all this stuff, Scott having nightmares for years afterwards. Wow. I mean, it just didn't end yeah. after you walk out.